The conflict between Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning escalated again, and the photos of Pearl Carton and Jade Carton attracted attention. Oops. No, the final special episode of Pearl Carton and Jade Carton recently came out, adding fuel to the fire for fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning. Speaking of which, in this final episode, netizens discovered that Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning's skin was so polished that it looked completely different from the raw photos. Oh my god, these two life pictures look like steamed buns. Some people jokingly call them the fat-headed fish combination, ha <laughs> ha However, after watching the final episode, it seems that both of them have changed their faces. Well, at this moment, the question who had the skin removed became a hot topic, and fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning started a heated discussion. After all, Liu Yuning has been called a negative example of beautiful men in ancient costumes since one thought of Guanxin, and his appearance has always been questioned. In the final episode, Liu Yuning changed a lot. Just looking at one photo, the effect of Liu Yuning's face slimming is too obvious. In the past, the photo of him was scarred by the light. If he didn't dress up properly, Liu Yuning would change into his original shape in an instant. However, this time his appearance did improve in the video, but the post-processing seemed to be a bit too much. His face was almost blurred and he was unrecognizable at first glance. Hey, but Liu Yuning's fans were not happy. They came out one after another and complained, it's because Zhao Lucy needs skin resurfacing, so Liu Yuning became like this. They also posted so-called evidence to prove how bad Zhao Lucy's face is mellow. Well, it is true that in some photos, Zhao Lucy's face looks a bit swollen, as if she is gaining weight. In fact, in previous works, Zhao Lucy has been complained about facial swelling. Especially in Can't Hide Secretly, her facial swelling is very obvious. Plus, I can't praise the acting. Oops, let's talk about Zhao Lucy in private. Her real figure was exposed in the studio. Every time the pictures are refined, they are the real deal. The raw picture and the refined picture are two different people. Zhao Lucy herself is quite keen on photoshopping. One moment she becomes Zhang Yuning, and the next she becomes an internet celebrity. So this time it inevitably attracted a lot of criticism. In fact, to be honest, Zhao Lucy is quite recognizable in the drama so far, and skin resurfacing is not too much. In TV dramas, there are always some filters, and skin widening is quite normal. But Liu Yuning's change is really a bit much. Now the fans of Zhao Lucy and Liu Yuning are in a quarrel over this matter, and no one is willing to admit that there is something wrong with their main protagonist's appearance. However, seeing them celebrating each other's birthdays, having dinner together late at night, and interacting very intimately on set, I guess they had a great time working together. After all, won't the truth about skin resurfacing be revealed after the main film is aired? Don't tear it up all day long, why not look forward to the main film, maybe there will be unexpected surprises. The more I watch, the more I look forward to it, come on. At an event, Zhao Lucy left a deep impression on people with her unique dress. Although it caused some discussion, she was rated as a fashion disaster by some netizens with unique vision. Zhao Lucy's team immediately put the blame on the stylist and asked her to return to her previous image. In fact, it is understandable that Zhao Lucy's team wants to find a scapegoat, but I cannot completely escape responsibility. After all, her habit of over-photo editing is no longer a secret. Once the pictures are not retouched, the so-called draw pictures will reveal the truth. The sexy look does not seem to suit her, but may emphasize her uninhibited little girl temperament. Wang Yebo's acting skills in the Storm Chaser are amazing. The performance of this scene was better than that of Zhang Yi. A week after the TV series Storm Chaser aired, the topic did the director really give Wang Yebo power. Became a hot search topic that confused people who are not fans of the show. It is no exaggeration to say that this hot search is very important. It is Wang Yebo the turning point from a traffic idol to a powerful actor. For those of you who haven't followed the show, let me briefly explain the ins and outs of this hotly searched topic. In the Storm Chaser, Wei Rue played by Wang Yebo, is a naive, innocent workplace novice with ideals. Shen Tunan, played by Wang Yang, has become an assassination target of financial giants due to financial reforms and the withdrawal of customs custody rights. Shen Tunan admired Wei Rule and recruited him into the central bank as his personal assistant against all odds. Wei Rule was loyal and grateful to him. Wei Rule learned that Shen Tunan would be in danger and wanted to apply for a gun to protect him but was rejected. He took it upon himself to snatch Zhang Miquan's pistol. As a result, Lin Kaya Song caught him and tortured him. This is a vicious plan to beat the bull across the mountain. The purpose of forcing Wei Rule to give a confession is to bring down Shen Tunan, who is behind him. In this way, all financial plans will be overturned and the interests of the financial giants will not be harmed. 
Therefore, those who received the order Lin Kaya Song did everything possible, including whipping, electric shock, and injecting the drugs. Wei Rule was hung up and covered in blood, his clothes were torn, and his body was completely bruised. To be fair, compared with Huang Yang, Wang Zuki, Lu Jianman and other veteran actors, Wang Yebo's performance in the first 10 episodes can only be said to be quite satisfactory. There were some scenes that required him to express his emotions, but his performance was not vigorous enough, such as helping Aunt Zhou, played by Yang Kun, lost money in stock trading. His shameful and anxious mood was no match for Yang Kun's furious and frustrated emotional expression. Another example is the scene in which the independent trading merger plan failed, causing the central bank to lose assets. Wei Rule is entangled, struggling and desperate momentum is almost meaningless. But in the scenes where Lin Kaya Song was tortured to extract a confession, his performance was impressive. His excellence lies in two parts. Part of it is finding the character's state correctly, and Wang Yebo's performance is very expressive. Some people may think that it isn't it just wearing special effects makeup, bloodstains on the body, and wearing shabby clothes. That's not true. If you just rely on makeup and clothes, it will still look fake at first glance. The weakness after being tortured and the inner firmness of the character are conveyed from the inside out. This performance is reflected in the expression and every subtle tremor. There is no fault in Wang Yebo's performance. The other part is electric shock, which is a hotly searched topic. Judging from the filming behind the scenes, Wang Yebo was hung up. The shaking of his body during the electric shock was very subconscious, not with the help of external force. Because of this, he was a half-joking, half-serious guess as to whether it is really powered on. Wang Yebo's answer was denial and he did not turn on the electricity. But he did not specify how the scene would be performed. Judging from the shooting highlights, the feet are off the ground and the thin clothes on the body cannot be equipped with weight loss machines and other equipment, so there are only two possibilities left. The first one is assisted by external force, but it is dealt with later. For example, two staff members wearing green clothes pushed up a motor-type device behind Wang Yibo, and started the device when Lin Kaya Song connected the electric clamp to imitate natural shaking. There is a very mature industrial process for this kind of staff wearing green clothes to be removed later. It is widely used in many movies, such as Jackie Chan's The Spirit of Dragons and Horses. Most of the horse scenes are actually assisted by staff wearing green clothes. Finish. The other is to rely entirely on Wang Yebo's own performance, which would be so awesome that it can even be said to be a victory over Zhang Yi. Because it is almost impossible to simulate the vibration of electric shock without relying on external force, even Zhang Yi, a recognized actor, cannot do it. In Above the Cliff, Zhang Xianqin, played by Zhang Yi, also had a scene where he was shocked by electric shocks. In order to simulate the real electric shock reaction as much as possible, director Zhang Yimao found an electric motor and asked Zhang Yi to sit on it, thus completing the filming of the scene. Therefore, if Wang Yibo really did not rely on external help, in terms of the performance of this scene alone, he would indeed beat Zhang Yi. Finally, whether it's the actor's performances, character creation, narrative, or rhythm, Wind Chaser is worth watching, so catch up. It's not a loss if you fall into the trap. Storm Chaser, the scene where Wang Yebo was tortured completely moved Wang Yang, but he attributed the credit to Tang Dui. When Wang Yang and Wang Yebo were filming the Storm Chaser, there was a scene where Wang Yebo was tortured, his clothes were in tatters, and his body was sprayed with plasma. The weather at that time was only about zero degrees. Because the camera was focused on Wang Yang, there was no need for Wang Yebo to appear in the scene. But in order to help Wang Yang create a sense of atmosphere and belief in the performance scene, Wang Yang was tied to the rack throughout the whole process and never left. During this period, Wang Yang advised him, you can put on some clothes, or just look at me and talk to me. Wang Yang declined, saying, I should do this. On March 27, during the live broadcast between the two, Wang Yang mentioned the matter again and praised Wang Yang for being very dedicated. As long as there is a scene between the two of them, even if there are some scenes where Wang Yebo is not needed at all, he will always be waiting by the side to do it for himself. Play along. Wang Yebo said modestly, maybe it's because when I first entered the industry, I met the very good actor Tang Dui. He told me that an actor's feelings cannot come out of thin air, so I must do it. Perhaps because he felt that the censor was too serious, Wang Yebo joked again, there was a brazier next to me. I wouldn't be too cold next to it. Zhang Xianyang, the actor in the same play, was also deeply impressed by the torture scene of Wang Yibo, which even subverted his previous impression of Wang Yibo. According to his recollection, it was winter in Shanghai, and there were snowflakes outside. 
The venue was an old room that had not been used for a long time, and no sunlight could shine in. Wang Yebo was tied there in rag strips and walked out of the room only after the whole scene was filmed. There was still blood on his body at that time, and it was really cold when the wind blew up. I used to watch him dance and thought he was very handsome, but this time as an actor, it's not scary to be good. What's scary is that good people work harder than you. Seniors are full of praise for Wang Yebo. In 2016, Wang Yebo and Tong Dori collaborated on the TV series The Best Taste in the World. Tong Dori broke the news in an interview, several young actors came to audition at that time, and both the director and himself voted for Wang Yebo. A few years later, a reporter interviewed Tong Dori again and asked him if he had any favorite actors from the younger generation. Tong Dori replied, yes. For example, Wang Yebo. In an interview, Yao Zayafeng, the director of The Storm Chaser, revealed that he had already decided to let Wang Yebo participate in his own work and play the role of Wei Ruole before watching Unknown, which won Wang Yebo a Golden Rooster Award for Supporting Actor nomination. Full stop. He admitted that his first impression of Wang Yebo was very good, simple and polite. As the filming progressed, a kind of trust was established between us. Whatever I asked him to do, he would do it very carefully. The most important thing is that his feelings and his performance were all the most real. Semicolon we also integrated his experience, and even everything about him, into this character. Conclusion. Directors Chang'er, Liu Zayaoshi, Dapan, etc. who have worked with Wang Yibo, and actors Tong Dai, Wang Yang, Wang Xian Yang, etc. who have worked with Wang Yibo, are full of praise for his professionalism. Objectively speaking, Wang Yebo's acting skills are still a little immature, but his progress can be seen in every film and television work he participates in. Over time and with hard work and dedication, I believe he will become an excellent actor. This year marks Wang Yebo's 10th year since his debut. He has always practiced his life motto, work hard first, then succeed. Disclaimer, if there are any issues related to the content of the work, copyright or other issues, please contact the site within 30 days and we will delete the content as soon as possible. Full stop.